Welcome to Outreach Connection, focusing on topics and issues that reach our communities with the love and the power of Jesus Christ. Well, welcome to Outreach Connection. I am your uh, host today. My name is Tim Red. I'm filling in for Pastor Timothy Southers. Uh, as we get ready to uh, interview here on Outreach Connection, uh, I believe that you are getting ready to uh, encounter a worship experience. I believe that God is getting ready to come in and really speak to our hearts about worship. Uh, we have people that we're going to talk to. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to read a scripture that comes from Mark 16, 15. And that says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Amen. Amen. And that is our job. And so today we do have uh, Michael and Kathy Dykstra. Uh, they are from Grandview Church here in Quincy, Illinois. And so we thank you all for uh, joining us here at Outreach Connection. Uh, we, we've already had a great time talking about Amen. this interview. And I'm so excited and elated about what God is going to do uh, here. And so they are they are here because uh, Grandview Church will be putting on a night of worship. And that is going to be on March 27th at 7 p.m. Amen. It's March 27th, uh, 7 p.m. And they are bringing in a singer, songwriter, worship leader, and his name is Terry McAlman. And so uh, from listening to you all about uh, his ministry, I'm excited. I want to come. Yes. And so I, I plan Amen. on being yeah. there if my uh, if my calendar You're schedule welcome. allows Bring me to. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and so uh, if you all would just share before we get into the night of worship and what all that uh, is going to consist of, would you all just share with the people uh, that are watching today about your ministry and what you all do there at Grandview Church. Okay. You want to go first? You go first. Ladies first. <laughs> okay. Well, we've been attending uh, Grandview since 2003, so that's almost uh, 17 years. Right. <clears throat> and, you know, we, we've, uh, before that, of course, we were involved in different, uh, you know, things in mm -hmm. other places, but... Um, uh, as we continue to, gr to grow over there, uh, presently what we, we help with the altar ministry okay. in prayer. Right. And uh, also uh, we are part of the intercessory group on Mondays. Mm -hmm. um, and then also uh, lead some of our, we call them pathways, but they're okay. basically like a Sunday school type of, um, um, you know, sessions. Okay. And uh, so my husband is, is uh, he is a, a word Man is what I call him. I yes, mean, I mean, not that I'm not, but it's just that he is the one that takes the, the forte in that area. Right, right. And uh, I'm kind of like his helpmate, but but we balance each other quite well, I Absolutely. believe, you know, Absolutely. in that. So yes. and we try to listen to the Holy Spirit as he leads us also, Amen. of course. Now, could you guys expound, uh, Michael, uh, on the intercessory prayer on Mondays? What, what time does that start? And is that for the open to the public? It starts around noon and okay. it lasts till one o'clock. Okay. And uh, we uh, play some uh, soft music. Uh, sometimes it's Terry McCallman's music. Right. And But it, it we enter into a, a presence uh, when he is singing that we need to know his presence personally. Amen. But when he sings these worshipful songs, the, the presence comes mm -hmm. and we enter in and uh, we make intercession uh, for that time. We wish uh, that we had more people there, but uh, prayer is prayer, but, mm -hmm. but worship mm -hmm. is a thing that we're talking about today and that mm -hmm. worship is something that, that has to come from the heart. There right. are people who can sing praises and we sing praises when God answers yes. prayer yes. And, mm -hmm. and we give thanksgiving. Uh, but uh, worship is uh, actually acknowledging him for who he is Amen. Amen. and uh, reverencing him like we would a king. Yes, sir. Yes, he sir. is our creator. Yeah. Absolutely. He's just, uh, he's uh, more awesome than, than uh, we know, but, uh, but he is uh, one that we humble ourselves before because once we humble ourselves, mm. our pride is gone and he mm. can do what he needs to do. Absolutely. And you know, what's also uh, neat is that Prayer as a spoken word and worship, they are mm -hmm. almost one into another. Right. Because Absolutely. you can actually be worshiping and you're praying. Amen. Yeah. And as we know, yeah. and, and that's what I love about Terry, a lot of his choruses and, and short you know, uh, songs are prayers actually okay. and scriptures. Okay. And they are just absolutely wonderful. So you know. Share with us a little bit about Terry. Um, where's he from? 
uh, what has he done? I know that you shared with me that uh, he has ministered with Benny Hinn. Right. So, okay. So right. You so he has, a, he has a marvelous history. Okay. And if you go to his website, which is New Glory International, mm -hmm. you will find anything that you want about him. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, I w we were introduced to him, just happened to uh, find the CD, and, and uh, it was just absolutely anointing. I remember there was, I don't know if what was going on in the country, but it was something very, I think an election or something, but, and I would turn that, that CD on mm -hmm. and just pray, mm -hmm. pray, pray, you know, that, that our nation will, right. will listen to yes. what the Father wants. And uh, he, he uh, you know, from then on, we kept, in fact, when, we, when we're going to church, we play his music, mm -hmm. you know, to, to just kind of get us ready, you right. know, and all Absolutely. that. Absolutely. He has, like I said, he has an extended ministry with Benny Hinn. He filled Driscoll. He's traveled all over the world. And uh, um, uh, I don't know if you want me to go in what happened go during on. intercessory prayer. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> and, you know, uh, Michael and I were, were in charge that Monday. So I decided, I thought, you know, I'm going to take this CD today right. and, and play it instead of what we normally play. And we turned it on, and it was like the presence mm -hmm. of the Father just fell on mm -hmm. the place. Praise God. And that's not something, like Michael was saying, it's not something you manufacture. Right. You know. And we were, we were most of us just... I couldn't even move. I mm. just stood in place as we were listening to the music and praying, you know. And afterwards, I asked the people there, I said, did you, did you sense this? And they said, oh my gosh, yes. Mm. And, uh, and then, of course, we told Pastor later, and he, was, he said, oh, well, how did I miss that? I said, well, you can, you can join later mm. with us. But this is what happens. It's, it's, it, was, it was absolutely a beautiful thing. And... and uh, Anyway, we just we were blessed by by it, and from then on, of course, I, I uh, um, uh, so as as we told Pastor about this, then he said, well, um, you know, maybe we can check into into yeah. this further. And Terry happened to be in uh, Granite City, City, Granite City, Illinois, okay. and we decided to go there that night. <coughs> so we we were, awesome. and the same thing. We walk wow. in, he starts ministering. And the, the glory of God just falls Praise on God. this place. Praise God. You know, so so we're, we're, we're expecting a great uh, fall and, uh, of the glory and the presence Absolutely. of God on March 27th. I really expect uh, the church to be filled. Amen. I mean, Amen. there are so many worshipers here and yes. so many people who love the Lord in Quincy, Illinois, that it's, we don't have enough actually. room to, for yes. everyone. But we want everyone to come because he... Because our Father is worthy of honor mm -hmm. and praise, Amen. and Jesus is Amen. our Savior. Praise the Lord. So when we talk about worship, you know, as uh, you alluded to, uh, Michael, is everybody can praise, anybody can mm -hmm. praise, but Jesus says, um, uh, I'm searching, I'm looking for the true worshipers, mm -hmm. John mm -hmm. 4, 24, yep. uh, that will worship me in spirit and in truth. God is a spirit that will worship Him. And yeah. so... You have to, there has to be a revelation of who Jesus yes, is yes. for you Absolutely. to worship. Because yeah. when we look at the word worship, uh, it's, it comes out of the word worth. Mm -hmm. And so I'm knowing, I'm understanding the worth of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Absolutely. so I'm realizing that God is valuable and without him, I'm nothing. And so I'm not, I'm not just praising him because of what he's done. But as you said, I'm praising him because of who he is. That's right. I'm praising him Absolutely. because of his worth. I'm praising him because of his value. Mm -hmm. And so when we go into worship, <clears throat> I believe that as we love on God, that God's love showers down on us mm -hmm. and, and, and God's love produces healing. Yes. God's God's love Amen. produces Amen. breakthrough. Amen. 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 Yes, Amen. God's Amen. love produces answers. As you were saying um, earlier, when we were talking that um, thirty seconds in His presence can change thirty years of, of a whole rest of life. Those Amen. are Terry's words, yeah. not mine. Okay? <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> They're and life changing. Then, yeah, it's life changing. And as you uh, said, Michael, uh, about all I need is one word. And, and um, yes. uh, my, my my pastor Bishop Warren, he's written a word, or, uh, written a book. It's called The Simplicity of Worship. Yes. And so in that book, he says that you never worship without saying something. 
That's true. So you have That's to right. say something. So whenever whenever the Bible says they worship, it always followed by and they said. That's and right. so you have to in your worship, you have to claim and declare yes. what is going to take place yes. in your life. Yes. You don't just yes. you don't just, you know, just bask, you know, but when you bask in the presence, it also calls some words to yes. come up right. and say, Thank you, God. Glory yes. to your name. You yes. are Alpha and Omega. You are the yes. Prince of Peace. You are yes. the wonderful counselor. And and so I'm, I'm expecting, I want you all to uh, share with me what you all are expecting. But when I'm thinking about this night of worship, I'm thinking about all of us speaking something to heaven. And and, you, and the Bible says, uh, whatever you loose in the earth shall be loose in heaven. And so I, I, I want to encourage you, uh, when you come into the night of worship on March 27, 7 p.m. at Grandview, come uh, with your mouth expecting. ready to say something to God. Say, say yes. something to, uh, to heaven. Because what I've learned is that when we speak the will of God, that heaven has no other choice but to agree with you. Yeah, you know, glory be to God. I, Hallelujah. And what's so fantastic Hallelujah. about what you're saying is yes. that when we worship, mm -hmm. we, we are actually entering the throne. That's the it. The throne room. Absolutely. And, you know, and we talk about, well, you know, we're on earth and, and that's heaven. But mm -hmm. no, worship and even prayer and mm -hmm. worship. We actually ascend into Amen. that place. Says, right. Come boldly into the throne yes, of grace right. and That's obtain mercy and find grace to help. Grace yes. and miracles yes, and miracles, yes. you know, because, uh, you know, when, when we, we go directly there, there mm -hmm. is nothing impeding us. And this mm -hmm. is why it's important for us to enter mm -hmm. into worship. Amen. We just have to forget what's going on and right. enter into it that's because right. that is where miracles. And I think that's where where uh, Terry said something, you know, the 30 seconds yes, yes. can change Absolutely. an entire Absolutely. life. Absolutely. Heal your body, yes. you know, from all emotions, from right. from sickness, from disease. Amen. Healing the Lord you know. sets free is free yes, indeed. That's right. That's yeah, right. Salvation. Absolutely. I mean, it's Amen. imperative. And, and, the, and the connection uh, also is the fact that uh, in uh, John 14, 9, that uh, Philip is speaking and says, but show us the Father. He yes. says, if you've seen me, you've seen See, the Father. That's mm -hmm. right. And mm -hmm. so when we see Jesus, Jesus, the full expression, yes. the, 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 express the man image. expressed yes. the fullness of God Amen. and the power of God and the presence of God. Amen. And he's the one who is our Savior and our Praise Lord. God. Amen. Amen. You know, when we, when we are talking about worship, uh, Bishop Warren also says in the book um, that it has to be vertical. Yes. You know, That's right. so, yes. so th this this means that you don't look at mm -hmm. your circumstances. That's right. You don't look That's at right. the sickness mm -hmm. and the, the kids going crazy. You don't look at the disease that the doctor exactly. said that you have. But I'm, I'm, I'm in a vertical yes. worship. Amen. 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 And so Amen. When, when we look at um, let, let's just look at Stephen, the, the first martyr yes. of yep. Christianity. Yes. Yep. This man was being stoned. Oh, Rocks yes. are being thrown yes. at him. Mm -hmm. But look at what he's looking at. Yes. Jesus. Amen. Amen. He was so in the throne room already. He, yes, that, he's he? in the throne yeah. room. And so that's why he was able to endure yes. them persecuting yes. him, them trying to kill him, because he was looking at where he was going yes. and not where he was. Yes. And so that's what worship is all about. Worship is about looking at where you're going, and that is heaven. That's the glory of Amen. God. That's that's, right. that's allowing the anointing to come and just overwhelm you. That's right. And and when we get in the presence of God, um, God is able to solve problems. Amen. Yes. Man, he he yes. is a problem yes. solver. Yes. And then he'll let you know, he'll yeah. he'll reiterate to you that who I am is in you. Yeah, absolutely. Glory be to God. Amen. And that's why we are able to say with confidence, Amen. greater is he that's in me Amen. than he yes. that is in, in the, the world. world. Glory be to God. And so I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. And I, I pray that too. I pray that um, churches from all over Quincy and in, in this region will come and worship together. Uh, as we were talking, the Bible says, uh, do not forsake the assembling of yourselves, you know, as the day is approaching. Amen. But we need to come more and encourage more. one another. And this is, you know, a, a great way for your worship to ignite my worship yes. and Absolutely. my worship to ignite your worship. That's right. And so right. we can all, you know, a lot of people have, have a certain way of worship yes. um, and, and that, and that's fine. But how about we all bring our own expressions of worship in one way, because that's, that's what it's going to be like in heaven. That's and right. so if we can all come together on one accord, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what God's going to do in that place yes. on that night. Amen. Yes. Absolutely. Amen. Glory be to God, God yes. wants the people to come to his throne and worship him. Yes, sir. It's a personal relationship. That's right. It isn't just a word, not a book. Yes. It's a person 
talking to a That's person. Right. It's a spirit, his spirit Hallelujah. talking to our spirit. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes. Absolutely, and he's Amen. worthy of that praise. Amen. Amen. So again, Terry McAlman is going to be here on March 27th at 7 p.m. Now, uh, there is a website. It's Terry McAlman. Calman.com and you can go to his website and you can uh, receive all his material there. Um, you were telling me that uh, you believe that the most recent CD is All the Glory, yeah, which was recorded glory. in Trinidad. In Trinidad yes, okay. yes. Yes. Awesome. yes, he was there because he travels to Trinidad too, and it is it is oh, beautifully yeah. anointed. I mean, you just can you just start playing it and it just. Yeah. Oh, you're there. You, feel, know? And, you know, people sh should get it and play it in their home and let the glory of God fill their home. Amen. Amen. Fill their hearts. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Fill their minds. And, you know, you were saying a while ago about how, how different worship methods, I mm -hmm. want to call it that way. Mm -hmm. We understand that, you know, some of us like the fast music, the, uh, the you know. Um, Old music. <laughs> <laughs> Different music. kinds oh, of slow music, music yeah. the fast, yeah. you know. The, and, and if it is worship to the Father, it's worship. Right. Now, Terry ministers, again, in the more worshipful, slow, mm -hmm. and, you know, and maybe we love it because we are of that generation. Okay. Uh, you know, but um, uh, I believe that when the presence of God, mm -hmm. no matter what type of worship it is, if it's there that's right. and you enter, it doesn't matter. Yes, mm -hmm. that's you know? right. That's and, right. And I know you were telling us about how uh, how amazing it is that some so many of the young people nowadays don't mm -hmm. know much about right. who Jesus or yes. who you know uh, is and all that. And I know Michael and I came into the uh, into the full gospel life through the charismatic move in the seventies, late seventies. Okay. So we are kind of old, you know, but. <laughs> But even that generation really some has has we're sort of part of it. We're yeah, young we're young spirit. in the spirit, yes. but old, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but even that generation somewhat has kind of lapsed behind, and I think that the cares of the world and all the other stuff, you know. So this is an opportunity for a call to worship. For yes, Quincy. Quincy is Taste. full of people who worship him and. And I'm fully well, expecting the, uh, and, and the area, the, the, mm. the, the whole area. But uh, God is uh, speaking to our hearts and he wants mm. us to worship him for, for not what he can give us, right. but for who he That's is, because he's it. worthy of it. Mm -hmm. and, and in his presence, that uh, there's miracles, yes. there's healing, Waiting. there's deliverance, Amen. there's hope. That's right. And that's what he's bringing us. Yes. You know, um, as you were talking, I'm just thinking about the people. You know, we here uh, in America, we're so fortunate mm -hmm. to, to be blessed and have great jobs and great salaries and nice cars. Uh, but there are, there's, a, uh, there's a people that are not as fortunate as we are, and they love God yes. such that, That's just right. the same. Yes. That's right. And if yes. not even more. Yes. You know, and because um, love is not just about what I can get. Absolutely. But what can I give? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so when I, when I love somebody, I love my wife. I love to do for my wife. Mm -hmm. I love to provide for my wife. That's right. I want to show her yes. <laughs> my love. Yes. Yes. And that's, that, that's what love is. That's it's what a love is. It's a demonstration. Absolutely. For, so for God so loved the world Absolutely. that he gave. Mm -hmm. And so if God gave, we ought to give as well. Amen. And so our worship is a, is a form of giving to God. Um, and, and, and again, we know that worship is a lifestyle. It, it's more than a yes. song. Right. Yes. It's more than just praying. It's more than just going to church. But it's really submitting ourselves to God. Mm -hmm. And that's my worship worship to God. I submit my mind. I submit my body. And so for, for those that are coming in for the first time, because I, I'm, I'm going to be praying and believing that there's going to be some first time people that that's never experienced worship, but because somebody, maybe them or somebody connected to them are watching this program today, they are going to be asked and invited to come to this night of yes. worship. Yes. And so I'm, I'm truly believing that God is going to, uh, because the Bible says no man can uh, claim Jesus, declare Jesus as the Son of God, except for the 
spirit yes. draws draw them to, yes. the, to do that. Absolutely. And so I'm believing that the spirit of God is going to draw people to Grandview on March yeah. 27th at 7 p.m. Amen. Enter into those doors and experience worship for the very first time. That's true. And That's by true. that, they are going to submit themselves under mm-hmm. the mighty hand of God. Glory yeah. be to God. So, yeah. so I truly believe that this is the segue to salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and that right. when, when they see that this God is real, because as you said, when we worship, miracles take place. Do. And right. so we, we, we can see, we will be able to see um, people experience experience uh, an authentic God, yes. an authentic right. God yes. through That's authentic right. worship. Yes. Glory be to God. And, and so once that takes place, I believe that you, the altar call, which you guys are, are mm-hmm. part of the, that ministry, yes. are going to be able to see people fall down to their knees Amen. and worship God in Amen. spirit and in truth. Amen. Yeah, you know, um, there, there is uh, a, in that scripture, John 4, 24, uh, something called the definite article. And so in the definite article, in the Greek, it leaves out a word and it and it's one simple word and it is the. And so it, it is, if we put in that word the in it, it would say God is a spirit and they must worship him in, in the, the spirit, spirit and in truth. the That's truth. That's good. I like it. Yes. <laughs> and so th- this means that you cannot worship God in any type of spirit. Or any type of truth. It has to be thus the Holy Spirit the Holy and Spirit. the truth, which Jesus says, I am the truth. Amen. And so we are, we are, man, I'm really excited because God, the spirit and God, the truth is going to be there on at Grandview on March 27th at 7 p.m. Huh? We're excited. <laughs> yes, and there we is no too. admission fee for, no for admission the, no, fee. you know, there'll be a love offering afterwards, but there's no, Praise you don't God. need great tickets, just Praise show up, you Amen. know, and be blessed. Amen. Yeah. Yes. And, yeah. And, and, any more uh, that you would like to share about Terry or this night or Grandview uh, that you would like to share with the people? Well, yeah. you know, when I think of Jesus uh, dying on the cross for us, mm-hmm. and it's not just seeing him dying on the cross. He hung on the cross for me as my substitute. Amen. And he took upon himself my sin and he bore it for me. And on his way to the cross, he bore my stripes. And it's by his stripes that I am healed. Amen. And he took away my poverty and gave me an inheritance and glory by Christ Jesus. Absolutely. And so we have a redemption. He is the redemptive process that God used to redeem mankind back to himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so he has redeemed us and we have been made alive because of his righteousness that he set us alive, made us alive. For people who don't know Jesus, their spirit is a dead spirit and they're because they're in sin. But we are set free when we receive Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Our spirit is made alive because of righteousness. And we have a connection with the Father, Mm. with the Son, and with the Holy Spirit. So when when we're talking about these dead spirits, um, people that don't know God, uh, and I know I gave an encouraging word about them coming in. Mm -hmm. But those that says, "Mm, I don't know about that. I've never experienced it. I believe that God is going to draw some, but, but, but also God is a gentleman. Yes. And so even though he's drawing them, there are going to be some who's hesitating and resisting. Yeah. He's inviting so, them. Yes. Absolutely. And so what would you say to those that are resisting the spirit of God that is drawing them there tonight of worship? What, what would you say? God is drawing people back into the position where he wants to be the guide of their life. Wow. He's got a plan and a future for them, a plan wow. for welfare, not for calamity to give oh. them a future yes. and a hope. And God has a perfect plan for every person and he wants them to be successful in yes. life, but he loves them so much that he gave his only begotten son. Right. Yes. Well, you know, it is, it's the loving kindness of God that draws all men unto mm-hmm. repentance. Mm-hmm. And even if they do come, if someone comes in there and they are feeling, you know, out of sorts, or maybe I've never done this before. Like you said, mm-hmm. the Holy Spirit is such a gentleman. Because mm-hmm. I remember when, when I was a heathen, as right, my right. husband would tell you I was, <laughs> uh, I remember I fought it and mm-hmm. fought it and fought it, you know, for many days. And I, 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 when I, I sensed something was going to happen, I said, I promise you, God, Mm. I did not know how to talk to him very mm. well then. But, you know, that I don't want you to embarrass me over here right. in front of these people, right. you know. I would love to be in a place where I could be. And, you know, it happened. Nice. So even if you're in a place 
place like that that is foreign, these people come in and it's foreign to them. You just sit, sit there yes. and just maybe if you don't know, if you've never prayed, just pray silently yeah. or, or even, he knows the thoughts of our hearts Amen. anyways. Amen. So he, he is a gentleman and he's right. not going to embarrass you in front of all, you know, right. many people. Right. But the, the, the desire is that we want him. Yes. We were made to worship God. That's right. We were made to worship him, you know. Yes. And, and I mean, that's, uh, there, is, there is an intrinsic connection there. Mm -hmm. our, spirits, our spirits are connected with him, whether right. we know it or not. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes different music takes you different yes. routes. Yes. Absolutely. But Absolutely. And it takes you away from the Father. Right. But this type of music it's is just... Mm -hmm. Takes Amen. you right there to the to he him. He wants us to enjoy his presence. He mm -hmm. wants us to be in his presence because he wants to do more in us than we we can even think or imagine. Amen. And he is not only capable, but he's wanting to. Amen. And he he loves us more than we love ourselves. Right. And so if we get our focus off ourselves and put our focus on the Father through and uh, through our Savior Jesus Christ. And when we are moved by the Holy Spirit, we are in His will and we are doing what He's called us to do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, mm -hmm. I, I would say to those that are watching this and that are uh, planning on attending uh, this night of worship, that you call at least one person um, that you know needs to be closer to, to Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. that needs to know Him as their Savior and their Lord, um, and, and let them know, as, uh, as you were saying, uh, you don't have to be embarrassed. No. You know, we, we don't, we're not going to put you, you in the front no, row. <laughs> we're are. not going to force you to go to the mm. altar. No. Uh, we're not going to force you to raise your hand. But we just want you to uh, just let God love on you. Yes. Let God love on you. Let God minister to you. Um, and as you were saying, uh, Michael, uh, that God has a purpose for you. Yeah, absolutely. And so let God minister that purpose. Uh, I truly believe that you cannot know who you really are until you know who God really is. Absolutely. That's and right. until you know who God is, you cannot know who you are. Exactly. Therefore, you don't know what your purpose is. Exactly. So we just want to uh, encourage you again, <clears throat> March 27th at 7 p.m., Nights of Worship that is going to be at Grandview Church. Uh, all the information, as you already saw, is, is um, on, the, on the screen and will be on the screen again. Uh, and uh, Michael and Kathy Dykstra, they're, they're inviting you as along yes. well uh, along with uh, their pastor, Pastor Dennis, Dennis who is a great yes. man of God. Yes. Love that man. He's, he's very encouraging. Yes. Every time, yes. every time that I see him, he has a word for me. <laughs> he hugs me, you know, and he Absolutely. speaks a word in, yes. into my life. So yes. I love Pastor Dennis. Please tell him I said hello. We sure will. Amen. Yes. And yes. so we we just uh, we thank you all, uh, Mike and uh, Kathy. Thank, thank you yes. so much thank you, uh, for being yes. here. Our, 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 uh, outreach connection again. My name is Pastor Tim Red. Um, filling in for Pastor Timothy Southers. And so we just give God praise and glory. And, and listen, Absolutely. you don't have to wait until March 27th to worship. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to do that. You can do that right now. And all you have to do, the Bible says, uh, if it had not been for the Lord, where would I be? Exactly. And so just think about where God has taken you from and where he's taking you to and give him praise and glory in Absolutely. spirit and in truth. Once again, I am Pastor Tim Red. And this is WTJR, WTJ, uh, WTJR Outreach Connection. And so God bless you and have a great day. Thank you. Amen. Contact us at Outreach Connection, WTJR 222 North 6th Street, Quincy, Illinois 62301.